Hello everyone, it's Ellie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little different setup today just because there were some comments on my last video about lighting, so I've just been trying different things out to see what works best. So let me know if the lighting on this video works out better than the last couple videos that you've seen. This video idea came to me because of some comments on my first video on my channel where I did a makeup tutorial that <coughs> anyone could do. However, I did receive some DMs saying that they were unable to recreate that makeup look that I did in that video because they did not have any makeup at their house and were unable to purchase any. So... What that brings me to today's video, we are going to be doing a full face no makeup makeup look and the reason that it's called no makeup makeup look is because we are not going to be using any makeup now the reason i'm doing this is because i want everybody to feel beautiful and to get creative and try things out. today we're going to be doing the same thing a full face just glammed out um with things that are more accessible now i thought about doing this with food products However, considering the situation that we're in, I didn't want to be wasteful. I also considered doing it with like arts and craft supplies, like markers, crayons. However, I'm all about skincare and I want our skin to be safe and healthy and I didn't want to have you go through the hassle of trying to take that all off your skin. So today we are going to be using a safer for your skin route with just items that you could probably find around your house pretty easily. So. If you are interested in doing this, in seeing this look, keep on watching. Here is what you will need for this look. Scissors, tape, construction paper of any color, any type, colored pencils, and some crayons, okay? So of course, you should already start out with a washed and moisturized face, washed hands. Find a paper that re resembles your skin tone, okay? Now, if it's a little too dark or a little too white, don't worry, we can fix that with concealer or with contour, because yes, we're ready to step it up. We're gonna be doing some contouring today. We're gonna be doing an eye look. We're going full glam today, okay? I want this to be, this look to be epic. So. Shade matching can be really, really difficult, all right? So you're gonna want to be in front of natural light. I have a window right here. And you're just gonna look at your option. Okay, look, these are all the options that I have. You're gonna pick one that looks good for you. Um, then you're going to hold it up to your face. See if it matches. Maybe we'll try a little bit of. gonna go with this one. Once you have your base color, you're going to trace with your pencil kind of a shape that looks like it would fit your face. All right, once you have kind of a base shape cut out, you're gonna put it over your face, press it up, and kind of use your pencil to mark out holes for your eyes, nose, and mouth. All right, when you're done with that, <clears throat> you should have something that looks like this okay now this might seem like absolute nightmare fuel okay just like i say with all my videos trust the process so once you have this shape cut out right here you're going to want to apply it over your face <clears throat> and tape it down now you want to use a gentle tape like i said we're taking care of our skin here um, I recommend just the Matte Finish Magic Tape by Scotch. Alright, so as you can see, we have got our base completely done. Now, since we are doing full glam today, um, this is definitely a full, full coverage base. Um, normally I wouldn't go this full coverage, but since we are doing full glam, I found it necessary. If you are someone who is not really up to full coverage yet, or maybe you are just having a really, really good skin day, um, you can skip this step, but for me today, this is what the base is going to look like, okay? 
Now, obviously, you might be looking a little bit pasty, okay? This is such a full coverage base. We need to go back in and add some life, add some color back into our base. At this point, if you do not have crayons or pencils or markers available to you, you might um, go in with more paper of a different color, but I really think anybody has like colored pencils in their house. Do not take offense to this, we don't. We are going to take a brown. This is the Rose Art Brown um, Crayon. And we are just going to warm up the face. I mean, really just chisel, chisel it. Get in there, get your cheekbones. There we go. This is our contour shade. We're gonna go in with some other colors too. Don't worry if this is looking a little bit harsh for you. Blend it out. And as you can see, we just pulled the face right in. Go a little bit on the chin. Contour the forehead a little bit. I mean, it's just so good. All right, and then my favorite part, we're gonna just contour the nose. This takes a lot of precision, guys. Really, just focus it in there. We're gonna go in with a little bit of a warmer shade to bronze. This is Crayola in the shade Bittersweet. Just go all over your contour. Really warm up the face here. This is where we bring that color and that life back in. This you can kind of go crazy with. A good bronzy moment is perfect for a full glam makeup look. Now that we are nice and bronzed, um, we will just go in with blush, right? Where we didn't, I would say a little bit on the nose and on the apples of the cheeks to just seal the deal on warming up and bringing life back into the face. We are gonna go in with, I imagine in the shade Orchid, okay? and just really get her in there. Look at it. I mean, is this not stunning? Maybe, okay, I just, sorry, bear with me. I kinda wanna layer it a little bit. This is the Rose Art in the shade Red. Just very ever so lightly. Blend it in, blend it in. Don't wanna look crazy. Then we have our base fully done, which is going to take us to brows. Now, for a full glam look, we are going to want a big, bold brow. You're gonna to wanna to take some paper in your shade of brow that you would normally go for and just get trace yourself out a big, two big, bold, on bleak brows, and then we'll attach them in a minute. All right, now we have the brows on and they do be looking mighty fleek. Now just remember, be nice to yourself here. Brows are sisters, not twins. Now that we have done our brows and most of our face, we are ready to go in with eyeshadow. Mm. I have a special look planned for eyeshadow for you guys today. Since it is a full glam tutorial and since you guys are getting better at makeup every single day, um, we are going to be doing a glitter eye, okay? A glitter cat eye. <sighs> now, don't be scared. I know some people do not like glitter. The glitter that we are going to be using today is not loose glitter. It's not gonna get everywhere and ruin your whole life. It's, it's a really good, the product that I'm showing you, it's really good for what we're gonna be doing today. I have with me here this glittery magenta paper. Is that not just everything and more? It's so perfect. Just go in there, trace out something that looks like just the fiercest cat eye you've ever seen, and then we're going, going to attach it to the eye. All right, now since we are being as safe as possible today, um, I would not recommend attaching it directly to your eyelids because that's just not really safe. We don't really want to be putting tape or glitter so close to our eyelids. So for this look today, we are just going to be attaching it right below our eyebrows. But I promise you, it'll give the same effect, okay? 
Okay, so there's the eye look complete. Now, the last thing we have for the face is highlighter. And I didn't really have anything um, that would work as something like shiny. I didn't have any shiny crayons. Um, I don't really have any shiny paper. So what we're gonna be doing for highlighter um, is just use whatever you used on your eye look and just put it on the cheeks as highlighter. Okay, so now we have the last step, which is going to be the lippity doodahs, okay? And I would recommend pre-coloring this, all right? So you're gonna take a sheet of blank paper, you're gonna pick your lip color, it can be a red, it can be a nude or a pink. For this, I'm gonna suggest a nude because we have so much going on already on the face that you don't wanna overpower it with like too bold of a lip. Unless you do, what you go for that? But for me today, we are going to be doing a nude lip so you're gonna color a big, big square on this piece of paper and then cut out um, lip shapes and then we're just gonna tape it on, you know. The thing we've been doing this whole time, you know how to do it. All right, um, by the way, the color that I have on my lips is Crayola in the color Marvelous. So this is pretty much the finished look, guys. Um, as you can see, we have our full, full glam on. We are shining, we are bronzed, we are just glowing. Um, I just think it's a really, really great look. It's super simple. Once again, anyone can do it. If you just want to really get creative during this time that we're at home, try something new out. Um, it's, it's super cost efficient. You can just use this stuff that you have laying around your house. It's also eco-friendly if we recycle all this paper when we're ready to take the full face off. That is so eco-friendly. I urge you to do that. So to the one person who said that they did not have makeup at their house, this one is for you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I'll do a quick montage of the look so you guys can get just a closer view of it. But pretty much, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.